So you should copy um, 206-6-39 into, into a new drawing uh, and then save it as this so you save over your old one um, and then we'll go from there but you want to position this so that uh, use the rotate and those kinds of things when you're in here use rotate 3d rotate get a position so it's like your front is this way top is up here so this is what you want to be your front view your top view will be like that one and your right side view will look like that so that's what you're trying to do when you get it positioned that way so you want the long side of your your part to be parallel with the long side of your page when you're doing your layout so when you go in your layout we'll get rid of that viewport and go ahead and go to layout here click base view and we're going to put that in here like this uh, right click and enter and then here and here and then one up here right click and enter and we'll click on that change that scale to about half and move this so it's up out of the way. All right, then we're ready to start dimensioning. Don't know what those dimensions were. Um, I don't remember. So we'll go here to annotate, put a dimension on, and we'll start by putting an overall length on here. Uh, we'll put an over or an overall width on this part right here, and we'll put an overall height. So those three things you have to have. Oops, I messed that up. So I'll put that in right about here, and I'll zoom in close. So I'm going to click on that. Oops, uh, hit escape twice. Click on that, grab that grip, and move it down there to the end. So now I got an overall height. Now, what are the other things we need to know? We need to know what the different features are. So let's look at this feature. We want this feature right here to have a dimension, what that thickness is, right? And we can do one of two things. We can either put a dimension that goes from here to here, and that'll be fine, or we have to put a dimension that goes from here to here. And just to make it even, we'll go ahead and put one that goes from there to there. And we'll put it up here now. Somehow or another, I messed that up, but I'll fix it. So hit escape, click that. I want to get that right on that end point. All right. So if you put it in here, you're over dimensioning. That creates a problem with tolerance stack up. We don't want to do that. We don't want to have, if this works out here, then you're only dimensioning features and you want to dimension where the feature is dominant. Even though it's up here, this feature dominates down here. So the same thing as far as this thickness goes right here, the thickness of this base, you can see that here, from here to here, that's where the, you see it as dominant. It's over here also, but this is the best place to put it. All right, so now you wouldn't dimension these, this square in these, you'd dimension it in these two views, you'd dimension it over here on this view. So I'm going to dimension this by putting in what that size of that is. So that's one inch there and one inch here, right? And then the only other things we need to know then is how to get to it. So I want to go from this corner to that corner. And we'll put that one in, let's say, right about here. We might have to adjust some stuff here in a minute because it looks like it might get close. And I want to do the same thing from this corner to this corner, just in the other direction, this way. All right, so um, I'll put that in place. Click that grip. Put that right there so it lines up. I'll do the same on this one. Click that. Click that grip and line it up there. And is there anything else we need to know? We know how thick everything is all the way around. We know how long it is, how tall it is, and how to locate that, that cutout through both of those right there. All right, double click it, save it, go ahead and create the PDF file. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and either submit that, make sure your layout's right, center the plot, and click create. That's exactly what you want. Right click and plot it, and that's what you submit in in the layout. You submit the layout PDF in Blackboard.